In today's video, we are going to be following the career of the worst rated talent on FIFA 23 under the age of 18. We are talking about that man right there. He is named after one man that you already know, Saliba, but he isn't French. He is now going to be joining us at the worst club, UCD Dublin. I can't wait to follow through with this concept, guys. It's going to be us and Saliba forever. Nathan Dylan Saliba. I am going to be turning you into the best football player in the world. And hopefully by the end of this video, he will have made a transfer to a massive club that will be playing in the Champions League final. Let's have a bit of fun. This is going to be insane. He is 46 rated. Lads, oh boy, we're in for a journey. Our main man comes in with 61 pace, 38 shooting, 46 passing, 49 dribbling, 43 defending, and 50 physicality. Now, ideally, we need to grow him as fast as possible. So we need to find out, is he better in a different position? Minus 31 in goal. Same at center back. Okay, so he could play center back. And minus two at right back. And minus one at CDM. Same at the centre mid position, obviously, because he is a centre mid. Makes sense, doesn't it, Johnny? And then in the cam position, he goes up by plus two, which is actually going to be a lot better when it comes to that Champions League final gameplay. So Saliba, pal, I am going to be turning you into a centre attack in mid as the first order for this career mode. Saliba in the cam position, and then we need to sort out the rest of the team. He will go up to a 48, I assume. Our oh, mate, we are going to be spending, I believe, let's say, at least two seasons at this club. So we better get it right. As we go through this career mode, we're obviously going to be focusing on Saliba, but also every single team that we go along with, uh, with him, we have to go ahead and strengthen that squad as well, which means along the way of building up Saliba, we could be finding some other hidden gems that we really like and then we can take them along with us because it's going to be step by step as we go through this. But the next one is a striker, a Romanian striker named Mazilu. He's going to be the number nine for this team and he's going to be the only signing I can actually make because we ain't got no money. So let's see what his rating is. He comes in, Adrian Mazilu, 230k is what we paid for him. And he's going to be playing in front of Saliba. Haste is going to go down to the bench because he's a bit older. So uh, Jill and Mazilu are going to be leading the line. Left footed as well. Perfect. And uh, yeah, Saliba will supply them with passes and all those things. He's already up to a 47. Hasn't turned into a cam yet. I will do so. And we will see each other again at the end of the season. Actually, no. The moment of truth is here. 47-2. 49, plus two as expected. At the end of this season, we are looking at a cup trophy, EA Sports Cup, Republic of Ireland. We have beaten Rovers in the final 1-0 victory. And in the league, guys, we are finishing in the eighth position, which is only two off the bottom. But there's a massive gap between us and the last place team. So even though this club was considered to be the worst team in FIFA 23, we have done well enough to not actually be the worst team in the league, which is a big dub. And of course, the big question is, how did Saliba do? How did the team do? First of all, up top, look at that. Great growth on both strikers, plus five on both, I believe. But Saliba started off as a 46 rated player, now 52 rated. That is a plus six for our boy. And he now has five star skills now in midfield we have keen and higgins doing well keeny at cdm and the defense is actually not that bad so i'm actually pretty happy with the looks of the team in terms of the bench and everything even the right back here is higher rated than the one that had on the starting 11 which is interesting to see but i am actually really looking forward to see how many goals and assists saliba got because the first half of the season he didn't play as much so where is he oh no Oh, our boy played 27 games and only got two assists. Not a great start. Had to make him the captain of the team to make sure he actually plays all the time. Plus six though, guys. I think that's fine. I'm pretty happy with that as the first season. And honestly, at the top of the league, at the top of the team, we have Mazilu, the new transfer coming in with 11 goals. So that is huge. We have made the right decision there. Hopefully we can add another top player into the team. 
at the beginning of the next season. One transfer coming into the club, and that is to strengthen us this season in the defense. We are bringing in Hakon Rostin from Rosenborg BK, who I believe just today, the rumors have come out that Tengstedt, one of their incredible attacking talents, is going to be moving to Benfica. Going to be an interesting one. Watch out for that one. So we bring him in for the centre-back spot. He comes in with a 58 rating. That is a plus three upgrade. But I got to say, lads, we just don't have any money to upgrade anything else. So we're already done with the transfers. Our last season at this club is coming in now. Let's see how Saliba does. I want to see him at least at a 55. Your boy just managed to sell a player that was sat on the bench for 1.4 million. So I went in and straight away improved the defense even more. We are looking at Zach Williams coming in for the left back spot. I believe he's Welsh, is he? Yep, he is. He is Welsh and he's coming in into that left back spot at a rating of... 62 all right that is a plus three upgrade and by the way we're like halfway through the season and saliba is up to a 55 good things five star five star keep it up young man now the season's over in 2023 after this we're moving somewhere else so let's see how things have gone for our boys in the league sixth position this time okay we were at fourth in a certain moment of time throughout this season but we seem to have slipped down 44 points still much better than last time around so i'm happy to see that goal difference doesn't look as bad either and saliba has gone up to a 56 rating his stats don't look bad at all and in terms of taking someone with us ideally we need to take mazilo with us man he looks incredible so saliba let me see if you have gotten something done this time around. Taliba, come on, where are you at? Oh my god, the boy played 39 games and only got two assists. I mean, there's a reason why he is the worst player on the FIFA 23 for talents under the age of 18 and under, basically. And you can tell, he is just not there yet. But we're still building him up and hopefully... We can get him a nice transfer away from this club, which is going to be quite interesting to see where we actually go to. But up top, Mazilu has been crushing it and I want to take him with us. So let's see if I can make that happen at the new club. I've made my decision. Saliba and myself are signing for Crew Alexandra. This is a club in the lowest division in England, which was a logical step for this man's career. And he's lifting up the shirt. He is going to be a crucial first team player. Fits into the starting 11 as well in that camp position. Saliba, welcome to the club. We are so happy to go along with him on his journey on the second stop of his journey, I should say. Tabana comes out. We're going to sell him. Saliba is going to hold on to that camp position. I would say we're going to spend probably another like one or two seasons over here. But as I said before... I want my striker. He's coming with us. So, of course, he comes along with us. Mazilu and Saliba. The attack pairing is going to be incredible. The Romanian joins Crew Alexander. Let's go. I think this next one is going to be one that you guys like. Think about Bellingham. I am not talking about Jude. I am talking about that man right there, Job Bellingham. His brother, Brings his number seven shirt alongside with him, puts it on. Crew Alexander have picked up a huge talent that could easily go along with Saliba throughout his entire journey. He's going to be playing in that center midfield position. Get away with Rod McDonald. No one cares. So there he is. We had to spend a decent amount on him to join us from Birmingham. And he comes in at a rating of 65. Let's go. We're going to turn this guy possibly into a better player than Jude Bellingham. That would be incredible. And uh, I really like this signing. I do feel like, though, I need to make one more signing. And that is the goalkeeper position. Richards, you ain't good enough, pal. A rating on this transfer. Javi Garrido. Excellent deal. And he could... Ooh, 67. Let's freaking go. We are prepared for this season it's gonna be sick oh and by the way guys as we join the team we are joining in halfway through the season because the season in ireland goes like january to january type stuff so we are joining in january right now and we are sixth as the season finishes saliba only got to play 10 games i will need to fix that issue going into the next year but at the top as well in terms of performances mazilu 21 games eight goals highest rated striker in the team they played Agye 
I don't know why. Makes no sense to me. No other striker is as high rated as Mazilu, and he came in as a crucial first team player. FIFA sometimes does my head in, guys. And in terms of finishing, we came in sixth, which I believe puts us into the playoffs. So let's get those playoffs going. And I'll keep you guys updated. Lads, I have to disappoint. Sadly, in the playoff finals, we got beaten, which actually I'm not as sad because that gives us another season at the lowest tier in terms of football in England. And I think that's going to be much better than for Saliba. And I need to fix it, man. What the hell happened there? Also, we need to see what has happened in terms of the rating to Bellingham. He's only gone up to a 66. I need to sort out whoever is taking time away from Saliba is getting fired for the next season. Gigovic, yes, had to do it. Guys, we're bringing in a player for the center midfield position. I got rid of plenty of players already that are taking playtime away from ours. And also, we'll have to let you know, our striker, yes, the Romanian lad that didn't get enough playtime in the last season, now is a potential to be special player. So we surely have to take Mazilu along with us on our journey. Saliba will be playing and Gigovic comes in with a 70 rating to play as a player that can help out defensively and also can move the ball forward as well. I need Saliba to get up to at least 62, 63. I've cleared the way now. Let's get this season going. Promotion. Yes, that has been secured by Crew Alexandra. 77 points on the team. AFC Wimbledon is going up along with us and Port Vale does too. Huge, huge performances by the team. And I want to see who is the guy. Gigovic, plus six. Wow, Mazilu, 20 and four, plus six as well. And Sambu, sorry lads, forgot. Bang, should be a right wing by now. Made a mistake right there. And then Saliba, where are you, pal? Oh, my God. Oh, this guy is really, really tough to deal with. And you know what? We might have to send him on loan to a lower team or even transfer him to a lower team. You can't be having a center attacking mid that doesn't perform. I think, and this is a tough decision to make, but I honestly do believe we might have to let go of the other players, let them go a league above us, but Saliba and us, we're going to a different league to improve ourselves. We're going back to Ireland. So along with Nathan and Saliba, we are returning to UCD on a loan deal for a year. And after that, we can go back to Crew Alexander and dominate over there. That is the plan right now. I want to follow through with it immediately. Lads, incredible things have happened because after the loan deal actually went through, we had to wait a couple of months for Saliba to come in. And he has come in as a 65 rated player now, which is amazing. And he comes into a squad where we have a few faces that we recognize, but this guy is new. Brienza, up top, interested to see how this guy does. But the rest of the team pretty much looks like the same pieces that we have brought in, especially Williams right here. I'm not going to make any transfers. I'm just going to go straight in. This season is done. We have finished in a seventh position and Saliba has gone up to a 67 rating. So started off in a 62 when we actually went away from the club. Then we waited for him to come back. He was 65 rated and now up to a 67. Could that be good enough already to compete with Crew Alexander? I don't know. And I got to say, there are no outstanding performances by anyone this season. And again, we finished seventh. I guess it was only half a season with Saliba, but I think it might be time for him to return to crew now. I think the loan might have been worth it because we have seen lots of growth. Saliba is back in the Crew Alexander shirt, once again being presented. And actually, the team looks exactly the same. Nothing has changed ever since we have left. We obviously couldn't loan him out over there, but we technically loaned him type of stuff. And he comes into this team now, hoping to see mad performances from him. Because this squad is really good by the looks of things. Yes, the right wing position might not be amazing, but we have brought in some great players here with Garrido, Gigovic, Mazilu, and then Saliba in that camp spot. My oh man, I need this to be your breakout season. If it isn't, I am going to be so mad. Officially the best season of Saliba so far. Seven goal contributions in 20 games because we obviously joined halfway through the season. Yes, 
I switched to a 4-2-3-1 formation that has three center attacking mids to make sure he gets as much play time as possible. And up top, Mazilu is the one. 17-5 for the Romanian striker. Gigovic, 9-2. Job Bellingham, 58-6. So, seems like all the players that we have brought into this squad are doing extremely well. Now, the question is, where have they finished? Drew Alexander looking at the eighth position right here, which is quite interesting in League One. Possibly next season, if we can do well enough, we could be challenging for promotion into the championship. That would be some story right here. Great loan out back at the old club and now at the new one, or I guess at the new old one, we're doing great. Only making one transfer for the new season and it is another center attacking mid to play in the right center attacking mid spot or right attacking mid spot. It is Emre Demir, a Turkish player that plays at Barcelona. I had no idea of this kid, so... I'm really excited. Oh, 75. Oh, let's freaking go, pal. Sinclair can go onto the right-hand side. Got to turn him into a cam again. And then Demir is going to play on that left side. Mate, this kid looks insane. Ah, oh, that's we're making banging transfers. Let's get on with the season. We're going up again. Yes, Crew Alexander is doing it. 99 points incredible stuff right here guys we're going up once more amazing work by the squad and the squad itself here it is Sinclair on the right 68 rated Saliba up to a 74 El Capitan Demir up to a 76 Mazilu 87 I mean of course we should be going up Bellingham 79 Gigovic 83 that's but it, should I stick with this team should I just stay with this team now? Do I just go through all the leagues with Drew Alexandra? It would be fun, wouldn't it? It really would be because we have built an amazing squad here. And like going to a different team and like bringing in all these players along with me would be a bit weird. I think Saliba has found his home. And then also performance wise, I need to see how well has he done this time around. Gigovic, wow. From center midfield, he has outperformed my striker. 25 and 19. What the hell is this guy doing? Mazilu, 24 and 6. This is not the first time he has done this this, this well, by the way. Demir, 19 and 4. Bellingham, 18 and 7. Saliba, 15. Goal contributions. Yes. Come on, pal. Keep it up. Keep it up, Nathan Dylan Saliba. Love that. Guys, this was our best season so far. And I'm already growing to attach to Crew Alexandra. But you know what? To be honest, if we get a good transfer offer for Saliba from a team that he would actually fit into, I think I'm going to make the move. I really do. I really like my players here, but <sighs> we might have to say goodbye to Crew Alexander. I think Saliba might be looking for a new adventure. Not now, though. I'm going for one more season. Your boy has done it again. We're going for one transfer only as we go up a division. Crew Alexandra is bringing in a new striker. Not, not a new striker. New center attack in mid. And it is going to be Jens Kastrop. He's going to be costing me the entire budget because the rest I need for uh, renewals of contract. 76 rated. That is a plus 8 upgrade on St. Clair, which I'm extremely happy to see. Kastrop coming in from the German division. 84 pace, 72 passing, 78 dribbling. Looks like a really solid addition into the club. And with that, we are now going into the last season of Saliba with this team i would love to see him go up to at least a 78 so we can make a move into one of the bigger leagues out there the team is going up crew alexandra up to 90 points this season in the championship and obviously with the insane players we had it was supposed to happen they are now a premier league club now as i said before this is the last season of Saliba at Crew Alexandra for now. We might return at some point. I don't know yet, but I'm very happy to see this happen. I honestly do believe we need to move into a different league and see what kind of experience we can get. I think the Bundesliga would be perfect for Saliba to go ahead and keep improving. So going into this with the 90 points, I'm pretty happy, but I need to see the performances. Has he done better than last season? Mazilu, as expected, 90 rated. My God, Gigovic, how, man? I don't understand. 24 and 12. Demir, 14 and 7. Bellingham, 11 and 12. Kastrop, 6 and 0. And then Saliba with 18 goal contributions. Again, 
has improved. Hopefully soon we can see above 20 and that should be happening next season. But we need to make the right choice for this kid. Maybe Bundesliga might be too much of a step up. Oh, you know what? I think Eredivisie would be class. I think for a young player, he's now 24 years old, going into the Eredivisie would be perfect. He could dominate over there or Belgium. One of those two will be happening. Guys, say goodbye to Crew Alexandra. We're done with this part of the rebuild. Of not the rebuild, but the team. We're done with this part. We need to move on. We need to be the main guy in the team and that's not gonna happen at crew alexandra walking into a new club saliva has made his decision and it is Feyenoord rotterdam yes we are joining a club that will try and win the eredivc a title and on top of it hopefully be com competing in europe as well this has me extremely excited a new chapter opens up for saliva and what real madrid oh we're just glitching okay guys we're just glitching out. I was like, what? I didn't make a move to Real. This is the team that he is going to be playing for. And lads, he moved up to an 81 as we went into the new season, which is incredible. I love it. So 81 rating puts him into the starting 11. And I got to tell you, man, this team has a lot of great players in it. Paixão, a young Brazilian talent that has joined Feyenoord just this season. Sadly, no picture, but he can play. Novak on the left wing, probably a free agent that had joined at some point or a regen. Luna and Antonucci. Both of these guys are not CDMs. So we need to bring in two new players here. And honestly, I might take someone along with us from the last team as well. I got to admit. And then looking at the defense, Beruato there alongside Leonhardt, Acosta, and then right back Alvarez. Alvarez only 23, so still can grow. And obviously, we would be needing a higher rated goalkeeper if we don't necessarily have one here. I don't think we have one here. We have this Diaz guy, and that's pretty much it. So... This guy is 20 years old. Oh, actually, we could keep him. Hey, we just need to spend money on two positions. That's center midfielders slash CDMs. Okay, so I wanted to get Joe Bellingham, but he's 86 rated. I mean, what the hell happened? You know what? I actually made it happen. I sold a bunch of players. And yes, Joe Bellingham is back. Yes, he is back and reunited with Saliba. He had joined West Ham, apparently. 105 million I gave up for this guy. But man, I wanted him. And he's not the only one. I also brought in Rebiga, a talent that probably a lot of you guys know in FIFA as well. An amazing player right there. But Bellingham needed to be in this squad. I just I just wanted to have him alongside Saliba. At least one player has remained with us. And I do think this team should probably do very well in the EDVC and whichever European competition we might take part in, if we are even in one. Guess what? It's the end of this season and things have not gone as I expected. We're looking at Danilo, 27 and 4, Novak, 21 and 13, Pashal, 10 and 7, Rebiga, 5 and 4, Joe Bellingham with the 4 and 12, Saliba with the 4 and 2. <laughs> he has not settled in in the dutch division at all this season but guys we're not giving up we're gonna do another season with Feyenoord, and i can tell you right now we actually failed in the semi-finals of the europa league against leipzig which obviously isn't great but we are finishing the fourth position which i believe puts us into the europa league again or possibly conference league whatever it is we need to win that next season because if you look at the team itself right here it's looking great. It's looking very, very, very good. Maybe goalkeeper and right back lets us down, but, you know, it should be doing really well in the edit VC and also possibly in Europe. We might be just one or two transfers off, but I'm happy with how things have gone this season. The learning curve has begun in the edit VC first season. Let's write that off immediately. Two players coming into the squad to fix the issue within this team for the new season. Fresneda for the right back position and Restes for the goalkeeper spot. I believe Fresneda is actually linked to a couple of clubs right now as we speak. He might be moving somewhere, but I can't remember. If you guys want to update me in the comments down below, I'd be open to it. But now the entire lineup is going to be 80 plus very, very soon with Restes going past it soon as well. Saliba up to an 85. Okay, lads, it is showtime. He has already become one of the best players in world football. He's now 87 rated, but he gets two goals in 45 games. 
I don't know if I created a center attack in mid or if I created a Busquets. Is he just constantly passing the ball around? What's this dude doing? Anyways, <laughs> I can't wait to see how he's going to be in gameplay. I am genuinely excited. Bellingham 4 and 13 this season, but Danilo has been the main man. 32 and 12 from the 31 year old. Novak with the 26 and 12. And I can tell you guys right now, in terms of the season that has just ended, we are still yet to play the one against Bayer Leverkusen for the final. So will we win it? I don't know, but we are about to see it. It is a loss. Oh boy, oh boy. On the big European stage, we fail. And this has been one of the toughest rebuilds I've ever recorded. I will admit that, guys. It is taking a hell of a long time. And I really hope you guys enjoy the progress, the ups and downs of this one. 65 points on Feyenoord, only coming in third. But I think it's time to move. Saliba has to go to a big team that is capable of winning the Champions League. He's 87 rated now, and it is time for that big step forward. The decision has been made. Saliba is joining, yes, Manchester City. Lads, we have done it. He also now is 90 rated. Every time I move into the next season and I buy him into the club, he just jumps in rating, which is incredible to see and something that I didn't know actually happened in the game. But lads, Saliba is here. They're happy with him. And I am even happier because he's now 90 rated, coming in at 164 million. And lads, this boy is special. And this team is special. Haaland up top. Bill Foden on the left wing. Musiala on the right wing. Saliba at Cam. Barella at centre midfield alongside Sanse. I might make another move there. Davies at left back. Romero. Diaz in the defence. Gusto at right back. And Ederson in the goal. I don't know how this guy is still playing. 36 years old at this point in time. And an incredible bench of attacking players as well. And defenders. So, this surely has to be the one. Champions League. I want it. And I want to see a banging season for Saliba. I hope it works out. First up, beaten Club Bruges. Second up, getting beaten by Bayern Munich. No. 3-1 comeback. That first game was just a fluke. Up against PSG. Manchester City at this point with this team should be absolutely dominant and we are showing no mercy to PSG and we're going to be playing against Juventus and here's a fun fact. Last season, I checked who was in the Champions League final and it was Juventus and Manchester City. I wanted to join a team that had a good strength showing in the last season and now Juventus is there for us to beat. Haaland 96, oh my God. Saliba 91 rated guys. We have taken him as far as we can and he has gotten himself his best 25 goal contributions. Let's go. That's a perfect way to end it. Musiala 15 and 8. Foden 21 and 17. Haaland 44 and 6. This guy with 50 goal contributions. Incredible. I'm so proud of Saliba. He has finally stepped up to get goals and assists. That is what I wanted to see. And now I want to also see how we finished in the league. Where did this season end up for the team? Can it be a double? It cannot be. Chelsea has won it. GG's to them. But guys, I am prepared for the Champions League final. Finally, with Saliba and all these lads. Let's take them on. Starting off into the Champions League final right here. Juve, first chance. And we defend it. So, how will our team do? How will Saliba feel on ball? Haaland, Saliba, there he is. Can he find the right ball straight away? Plays it through into Phil Foden. It's a great ball. Great first touch from Saliba. We like to see that. First action causes a little bit of trouble. Saliba strikes it from far. Wow. Okay, shooting. We suck. Malo Gusto gets it done the second time around. Haaland. Obviously, ridiculous amount of pace on this guy. Brings it back to Barella. Down to the right into Musiala. Musiala cuts back. Finds the man in the middle and Saliba in the center. Yes, he has done it. The lowest rated talent in FIFA 23 has now managed to score a goal in a Champions League final as a 91 rated player. Costa is unhappy about that one. I couldn't care less. 
Look at that moment right there. The pass inside. Barella is the one that gets the assist at the end. And lads, Saliba. It took us so long, pal. So long. Scoring goals isn't necessarily his thing. But man, he stepped up when we needed him the most. Get in, pal. No. Oh, what a save. A massive save right there. 29th minute. Mukoko has to score that. Good ball. Into Haaland. Haaland expecting more help. He gets it now. Saliba finds Haaland again. Haaland is through. Saliba to get the assist. And he does it. Erling Haaland scoring. It's 2-0. Manchester City are leading by two now. And that is a big gap that Juventus will have a struggle to get past. Great finish, obviously, Haaland. Honestly, I think this might be the first time that I'm actually using Haaland in FIFA 23, and he just, he's a tank. Lovely move down to the right, Musiala. Musiala, I love that. Saliba in the center, can he head the ball? Oh, oh, wait, no, <laughs> it nearly went in. I mean, the header was awful. Lovely, great movement. Saliba, the move, the pass, the header. I gotta say, man, Saliba's shooting is awful, but his passing play is quality. Oh, no. Oh, what a ball. Man, that went right through my legs. Mukoko scores for Juventus. Congratulations to them. They're back into the game. Skill moves down the right-hand side, getting past me with ease and just making me look bad there. I should have done better. Let's focus on these next 25 minutes and pull out the best performance we can. Oh, that's an insane pass. Kulusevski now through on target, but luckily we catch up to him. He made a big mess of that. Saliba now looking for Haaland. Oh my lord, he has done it again. Saliba has done it again. He now has... Two assists and a goal in the Champions League final. He threads the needle once more. Haaland is obviously at the end of it. But man, Saliba with the through ball once more with just the perfect amount of weight on it. And no chance for the goalkeeper. That's... We well and truly have created the best player in a Champions League final. We have gone from worst to best. And that's all I wanted to see. There it is. Ended referee. Thank you very much. That is it. We have won the Champions League final by growing a 46 rated player into the best player in world football who steps up the most when the time comes. This is the type of man you want to have on the pitch. Saliba, one goal, two assists, three, one victory. Right there behind Ruben Diaz is Saliba alongside with these great players are lifting that big trophy. And a fun fact, in this final, Gigovic was subbed on for Juventus. So it seemed like he made his move as well. Nice to see him play a part at the end, uh, of course. But yeah, guys, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. We have done it. It was quite a challenge, but at the end of the day, it was fully worth it. Have a great day, guys. Take care and peace.